During hemodialysis, fluid is removed from the patient's blood, along with toxins, and then the blood is returned to the patient. The process of removing fluids and toxins is called hemodialysis. Ultrafiltration is slightly different. It's the removal of fluid only, and how fast the fluid is removed is called the ultrafiltration rate, or UFR. If fluid is removed too slowly, there may not be enough time to remove the prescribed amount of fluid. This can leave the patient fluid overloaded with problems like edema, hypertension, heart failure, shortness of breath, and fatigue. If fluid is removed too quickly, the patient's blood volume can become depleted. This can cause crashing symptoms like nausea, cramping, and vomiting. In fact, ultrafiltration rates above 13 milliliters per kilogram per hour can lead to hypotension, myocardial stunning, and hypervolemia due to the frequent turning down of the UFR, or ending of treatments early because of intradiolytic symptoms. All of this leads to increased morbidity and mortality. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS, has discussed adding the ultrafiltration rate to the Dialysis Quality Incentive Program in order to limit the average ultrafiltration rate to 13 milliliters per kilogram per hour. But the ultrafiltration rate is just one part of the puzzle. Every patient is different, and the ultrafiltration rate should be considered along with the patient's tolerance to treatment interdialytic weight gain, and blood pressure. The trick is knowing whether fluid is being removed too fast, too slow, or just right. Crit line technology can help the clinician figure that out. A sensor clip is attached to a chamber on the top of the dialyzer. This sensor non-invasively measures hematocrit and oxygen saturation. The percent change in relative blood volume is then calculated and displayed on the crit line screen in real time. The clinician can immediately see how their patient's relative blood volume changes during hemodialysis, and can use that information to decide whether to intervene. If the change in relative blood volume is too fast, the crit line screen displays a steep downward blue curve on the graph. This information can allow the clinician to decrease the ultrafiltration rate before the patient starts to feel symptoms of hypovolemia. On the flip side, if the change in relative blood volume is too slow, then the crit line graph looks like a shallow, almost flat, blue curve. In that situation, the clinician can increase the ultrafiltration rate without immediate risk of intradialytic symptoms. The bottom line is that seeing how relative blood volume changes during hemodialysis with crit line allows the clinician to remove the maximum amount of fluid without the patient experiencing complications of hemodialysis or exceeding the discussed ultrafiltration QIP goal. Crit line technology can provide a more effective treatment for both the hemodialysis patient and the clinician. It does this by allowing the clinician to optimize the ultrafiltration rate to a patient's individual tolerance and helps identify when symptoms might occur.